in terms of, of what's going on, um, can you give us any interesting stuff going on in the industry or you know, in, in the sector at the moment that we as general people would have no idea exists? Yeah, <laughs> so I think maybe I can give two, two examples. One I've, one I've mentioned already briefly, um, and that's this issue of um, adoption of accrual accounting. Yeah. So in South Africa, we have this, have, have standards called GRAP, uh, generally recognized accounting practice, which are full accrual public sector accounting standards. Interestingly, again, South Africa is a global leader in this space. Okay. So many of the standards that, <clears throat> that are in GRAP are, are standards that are not even available internationally yet or that are used as, as one of the, the sort of source material to develop the international standards. Right. Um, so, so across uh, globally, this is a big issue where, where governments are being encouraged to move from a cash basis of accounting to accrual accounting. Yeah. And obviously, we need people who understand accounting to support those processes. Um, it's, a, it's a very long process during yeah. the sort of six to 10 years to, mm. to move a country. It, it may sound strange, <clears throat> but there's actually a lot that oh, needs to be done. Just, just in terms of identifying assets within government, if you actually think about what assets government owns, it, it's massive and generally they haven't on, you know, on kept track of. So, yeah. um, you know, there's a whole big move to try and deal with that. Right. Um, so, so definitely there's, there's a lot of opportunity if you want to get involved in that too, if you, if you, you know, make sure that you get a chance to do a course on GRAP if you're in South Africa or uh, globally, it's called IPSAS, R-P-S-A-S, mm. International Public Sector Accounting Standards. Um, and there's lots and lots of opportunities to yeah. be a part of, of that journey. Right. Um, on, on the auditing side, the, the kind of, um, I'd say that sort of one of the sort of hot topics is this, this thing we call performance auditing. And really what this is about is about saying, you know, typically we, we learn how to audit um, for assurance. We, we, uh, we, you know, yeah. are giving assurance on the financial statements. This idea of performance auditing looks at um, issues of, of um, the way service delivery is done and right. if it's done in the most economic and efficient right. and effective manner uh, and c can produce some really, really interesting reports yeah. to government that, that sometimes cut across many entities that these, these audits can be quite large. Um, and give insights to where, where things aren't working. Um, so, in fact, at, at the moment, I'm, I'm sitting in, in New York, and, and in the, the U.S. Is, has got a fantastic office that, that, that does this type of work. Their okay. equivalent of the um, Auditor General is called the Government Accountability Office. Um, interestingly, the pres their president doesn't really like it, which you'll probably say is a good thing. <laughs> But anyway, they, they, they do some fantastic <laughs> work about reporting, through, using performance auditing, how they make recommendations to government that saves government billions and billions oh, really? of dollars every year. So their budget might be, I don't know, $100 million, and, yeah. and yet they save even tens of billions of dollars um, really? for, for, for government by highlighting areas where money is not being used in the most efficient right. and effective manner. Right. Um, so so what, are you, really what are you doing there? What is the connection between you and 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 there? And there, so so because of my project with the with the African Professionalisation Initiative, we we have a have a lot of stakeholders across Africa, but also globally. Okay. So we work with uh, AFAC, the International Federation of Accountants. That's yep. why I'm here this time around okay. to attend some meetings with them, including to talk about education and talk about mm. how public sector could be more <laughs> integrated into the, into public sector curriculum globally. Right. Right. That's pretty cool. Um, and we, we, yeah, it's really about trying to influence the, the global agenda, but right. um, Apex also a huge supporter of, of the, the professionalization right. initiative. Okay, um, understandable. Providing us yeah. with some funding. So, yeah, um, yeah so it's, uh, it's, a, it's about, yeah, about representing Africa on the global stage and ensuring that, the, that wherever possible we can, um, you know, get support from the international right. community. So you're not yeah. spying, you're... <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. <laughs> Observing. <laughs> Observing. Yeah, Observing. yeah. Oh, okay, so that, that's very cool. That's 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 very exciting.